This is the Technopova 2 disassembly. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Next, we need to place a pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run it along the edges and pop the catches off. There is some adhesive around the camera cover over here, so you're going to have to gently pry it off. Once the back housing is loose from the frame of the phone, you're going to flip over the back housing and be careful since there's a cable still attached for the fingerprint reader over here. There's a black protective tape over here on the top as well as on the bottom which needs to be peeled off. Now there are 21 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the top plastic cover. At this point, we need to disconnect the battery cable. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. And then we can peel off this tape over here, holding it down. The back housing itself is plastic. On the inside, there's graphene film over here on the top portion. There's also numerous antennas around the edges. And of course, the fingerprint reader is located right over here. The glass camera lens cover over here can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying it off. Here's a look at the other side. We can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. There's a wire cable or coaxial cable over here in the corner which needs to be popped off. There are two Phillips screws holding down the main board. One is located right over here and one is over here. Once those screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. On this side of the motherboard, there's some graphene film over here on top of these shields. The quad LED flash is located over here and there's a liquid damage indicator, which is this white sticker over here in the corner. There's also a rubber gasket around these connectors and these over here. The camera connector over here can be disconnected by just popping it off. And there's some copper tape over here behind the front facing camera. On the other side, we can see the SIM card and memory card reader located over here. The other three camera connectors are over here and those can be disconnected by just popping them off. And the front facing camera connector is located right over here, which can also be disconnected by just popping it off. The proximity sensor is located over here on top and the two LED flash is located over here right next to it. There is some thermal paste over here on top of the copper tape, which is sitting on top of the shield. And there's some thermal paste over here on top of this shield as well. Once the removable shield over here is removed, we can see more thermal paste underneath on top of the processor and RAM. Also, once the copper tape over here is peeled back, we can see more thermal paste underneath that on top of those ships. The bottom plastic cover can now be removed. Here's a better look at that. The flex cable on the subboard needs to be disconnected. There's also a coaxial cable or wire cable over here, which needs to be popped off. There's a Phillips screw over here on the subboard, which needs to be removed. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. There's another liquid damage indicator located over here, which is this white sticker. And there's a rubber gasket around the charger port itself and this connector over here. And the main microphone is located right over here. Here's a look at the other side. The headphone jack is located over here in the corner on top of this small board. It's held down with adhesive, so if you need to remove that, just gently pry it off. When it comes to replacing or removing the battery, there's a provided pull tab in the bottom left corner of the battery over here, which will help you pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the battery. Once the battery is removed, we can see this flex cable over here for the screen, which is routed through the opening over here in the midframe. We can also see this flex cable over here, which connects the main board to the subboard. So when it comes to replacing the screen, you need to remove the back housing, as well as remove the screws on the top back cover and remove the top back cover, disconnect the battery cable and the cable over here for the screen, and then you need to remove the battery itself so you'd have access to the flex cable over here. At that point, you would heat up the front of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. You pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply your new screen, making sure you run the flex cable through the opening over here in the midframe, and then you would reassemble your phone. The vibrator motor is located over here in the bottom corner. The flex cable for the power button volume key is located over here, and that's held down with some adhesive, so you can gently pry that off if you need. 
And finally, the earpiece speaker and loudspeaker is located over here on top, which is also held down with adhesive. So if you have to replace that, just gently apply some heat and pry it off. As far as repairability goes, I give this phone a 6 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, reapply your back housing. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.